in Lincoln, Michigan for the Lincoln Lions 250, the 1993 season here in Lincoln, Michigan last year. This was won by one of the Bozig brothers, and uh, it's yet to be determined who's going to take the checker today. Vicki McMillan will join us. We'll bring you all the action, and we'll get going right after you watch this. Here in Lincoln, Michigan for the Lincoln Lions 250. And if you like winter weather and exciting snowmobile racing, then you're going to enjoy today's race. You may remember they had a ton of snow last year, and again, this year, it is snowing profusely. Question is, will they get all 250 laps in here in Lincoln, Michigan? We talked with one of the drivers in the pit about the kind of race to expect today. This is Gary Lumsden from the Great Lakes Racing Team, uh, Great Lakes uh, Sports Center and Excavating, and Gary, a little bit snowy. Is it going to be a visibility problem out there? It's going to be a little bit tougher than what it normally is. Uh, there's going to be a lot of snow, dust, especially the first few laps. It's going to be uh, kind of hectic and kind of busy out there. But it, after you get past probably the 15, 20 lap mark, the sled will be spread out. It won't be so bad. Where are you going to be in the lineup? Uh, we're qualified 18th. How, how's the season been going for you so far? Well, it's, we've had our ups and downs. It's, uh, we've run good, but we've run into problems later on in the race. It's put us out of a couple of races, but uh, we've been running strong. Describe that sled for us. Pardon me? Describe your sled for us. Well, it's a Polaris. Uh, it was a 650 we sleeved down this year because everybody had to go down to the 600cc uh, limit. Uh, it's just a Formula 3, uh, basically a stock sled with a little bit of work down the front end and uh, a little bit of work down the motor. Polaris always... Uh, Makes a good showing at any racetrack. Gary, uh, good luck out there, and thanks for talking to us. Thank you. Last year, it was a good year for the Bosick brothers of Alexandria, Minnesota. Tom Bosick rode a Polaris 650 to a first-place finish, and brother John finished fourth. Others in last year's top ten were Jeff Kettmiller, Greg Wellman, Troy Don, Ivan Hansen, Mike Stasek, Jeff Malaska, Floyd Pierce, and Curtis Weber. Troy Pierce from... Felsky Farms racing team will be in the pole position for today's race. Here on a snowy day. For number one uh, position, uh, Jeff Kipmiller, number 45 in second position. Jim Kurtz in number 196 in third position. Mike Stazak, 16 in fourth position. Mike Stazak was our winner last weekend in Albright Shores, and he had a little trouble yesterday. His uh, machine was in a wreck in the uh, amateur Formula 3 class, and they had to take that home and do, do a little repair work on that, but they're going to be out there today. And then we have Alan Miko in number 17th in fifth place. And uh, then we have, a, we also have a, we had a full field, I should say. We've had uh, two scratches. You're going to see number two machine out there, but actually it's it's a different machine underneath. Number two, um, which is my team, they uh, cracked two pistons and they couldn't get it back together. And also uh, Team Spencer, number 22, and he blew up his engine as well, and he's done for the day, and he'll be backing up number 76. So they switch drivers back and forth, and there's a lot of camaraderie around here. We'll wait for that uh, green flag, Vicky. That'll be coming up shortly. You're watching a winner of champions on the Pass Sports Network. I'm with uh, Todd Cricky, and the Outlaw Classic has just been completed, and you uh, took the checkered flag, right? Yep. What kind of race was it? Uh, it was a lot longer than I expected. Uh, we only have a two-and-a-half-gallon tank on our sled, and uh, when I crossed the finish line, it was bone dry. So I didn't know if I was going to make it the whole way or not. Visibility, a little bit of a problem. Yeah, it was. I think it will be for the big race, too. We'll have to really be careful. Well, despite the weather, a huge crowd is on hand, including a race queen. That was a truck that was here when we pulled in. That's their right there. There's ours. Here's Russ, Art there. 21 coming around to take the green flag. Hug her in there, Russ. That a baby. Hug her in there. Hug her in there. Hug her in there, Russ. Hug her in there. Hug her in there. 
That a baby. Good job. Good job. Yeah. Snowing like a bear here at the Lincoln Lion 250 on February 21st, 93. Gonna be awful dusty. I think Danny's sitting in like 34th spot, 33rd spot, somewhere in there. A lot of people here. Snowing pretty good right now. It's supposed to get three to six inches of snow. afternoon of racing. Yeah, long, tough afternoon here, and uh, we'll see at the end who comes out on top. Vicki, I think with the visibility the way it is, the snow coming down might be a little bit longer race if it goes the distance. If it goes the distance, we got to watch the snow, and uh, we'll, you know, when the drivers pit and that and change drivers, Mark, uh, the, the race director, will go along and see how the drivers are really uh, talking about visibility and that kind of thing. All right, they're uh, around the first lap of uh, 250, 249 to go. At the Lincoln 250 Enduro, there's always a good crowd here to watch this Lincoln Lions 250 race. They park their uh, campers all the way around. The view is good, and the spectators watching uh, along the fence line also get a good view of the race here. We got a well laid out track, and the drivers uh, really enjoy coming here to Lincoln, Michigan. Uh, just kind of capping the top five races, racers going into this race. Troy Pierce in the first position. Jeff Kip Miller, Jim Kurtz, Mike Stasek, and Alan Milkey. Those are the top five drivers. And uh, we'll see how they do as this race progresses here. Danny's eating a 
up. Gonna have to pull in the pitch. Should have pulled in that time. Hard to say if he'll make her or not. top three machines right now. They could change, probably will change. We're only about just over 60 laps here in the Lincoln 250, and they've got a long way to go. Uh, we're looking for the plows any time now because that track is taking a beating, and we'll have more updates. Stay with us. Talking right now to a Hall of Famer, Tom St. John. And, Tom, you got a little engine trouble here about with 60 laps in the race. Yeah, we uh, burned a piston, I guess you'd call it. Uh, it just put us out for a while. We got it pretty well back together. We'll be back in there, Charlie. Oh, so you're still going to be back in? Oh, yeah, we'll go back out. Okay. We'll, we'll, have to. We'll, we'll go back out. All right, thanks, Tom. Tom St. John, team number 96, and he's still going to be in this race. Well, as you can see, they're already working on some of the machines here down in the pit area. And as I mentioned before, the snow, the wind, and the cold weather has a lot to do about with it. And uh, it's a wet snow, so that could cause some carburetor problems, some other things. And out there on the track, of course, they're concerned about visibility and, and the condition of their sleds. The plows are going to be coming out here. The yellow flag is out, and the pace sled is leading the drivers around the track, and they'll be plowing here. along with Vicki McMillan here in Lincoln, Michigan for the Lincoln Lions 250. And we've got an update for you, Vicki. It's a very, very close race. I know there are times when there was about six, seven machines with only two or three laps between them. Yeah, the top ten only have about two laps between first and tenth. That's quite a small difference. And, you know, it can make or break you if you take a pit or get, need to get gas or lose a ski loop or something, you know. And uh, it's uh, pretty treacherous out there right now with the snow. What's the leader's uh, standing so far. Leader standing so far. We have number 17 in first place. He's got to be happy about that. I don't think he's been like top. I don't know if he's ever won actually. So he's pretty hopeful. Then we got 67 Buckler Meeker Racing, and then number 21 Cateray Racing in third. Um, there's only not even a lot separating them. So you, you should keep an eye on those three. Pierce is uh, dropped behind now. Yeah, Troy had uh, blown a belt out there and had to be towed in, so he lost three or four laps on that, as well as Mike Stazak, he was out there and got had to come in uh, for a minor adjustment, and he lost a few laps as well, so they're probably right up there in the top, but they're just not on top. We're in the lead right now, about 18 laps to go. I gotta find this here. Number 17 and 21 on the same lap.
Let him buy. Let him buy, baby. machines out with uh, broken uh, struts and whatnot because of the uh, rough surface conditions and uh, we'll have the leader for you in just a moment. Okay, we're on the white lap flag now and 21 got the white flag. Uh, they're all coming around here. Their crew's running down to the starting and uh, we're waiting here now for the checkered flag. Just came in first place, took the check at uh, Greg Catterick. How do you feel? Great. Hometown. 
How about the, the race out there today? Who, who was on that sled uh, most of the afternoon? That uh, was a split up halfway. Ross Chartrand and Troy Dunn. Okay, well, you guys took one up. Marquette, you're back, and you're, you're really in the hunt as far as the point. We're in first now. We All won right. Marquette, Ken Ross, and... Oh, well, we got the winning sled right here. <laughs> Cataract <laughs> collision. <laughs> Talk about a happy crew. Here they are right here. Got Russ on the sled, uh, just getting out of his gear. Hold on now, baby. Hold on, I got Hey Troy, you coming to Bogarts with us tonight? Are oh, you buying? <laughs> Somebody said they were, didn't they? Lincoln Lions 250 for 1993 is history, and I'm standing with the winning team and the winning driver who took the checkered flag. He is Troy Don. Troy, how do you feel about the outcome? Really well. You know, we had a little bit of problems yesterday, but uh, everything turned out good. Uh, you, uh, it was a close race, uh, as far as I know, uh, all the way to the end. There was only a few laps between some of those machines. Yeah, it was. You know, everybody was, I think, trying to wait the snow, more or less. We were one of them to see what was going to happen with the snow before we pitted, but... Uh, you know, we knew that at the last plow, we was running too close to gas. We had to come in and pit. Some guys didn't, but, uh, you know, I think some of the guys that didn't got the unfortunate that uh, they had to come in under green, you know. Backup driver, or I should say the uh, team driver here, Russ uh, Chartron. Russ, you started the race today here in Lincoln, didn't you? Yeah. Uh, uh, you and Troy did pretty good uh, as far as sharing the honors all through the day. Oh, yeah. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about how you ran this race uh, along with Troy and the whole team? 
Just uh, kind of try to stay on the machine as long as possible? Yeah, that's what we figured we'd stay on as long as we could until we had to pit one time for gas, and then uh, our carbides got bad then too, so. Not too many pit stops? No, one, one stop. Okay, well, you did good up in Marquette, and uh, then uh, Troy joined you folks at, in Ken Ross, and uh, you, uh, I think as far as the season point standing right now, you're in first place. Right? Yeah, we're in first now, because we got first in Ken Ross, and uh, fourth, Troy got fourth, and Drummond. Drummond, what do you, and then we got another first down here. Not the most favorable weather conditions. Any comments about that? Well, the visibility got a little bad for a while, but... Cataract Racing Team, winners here in Lincoln. They take all the money, they take the trophy, and they head out to up north to the UP and Raver Bay. That's where it's going to be next week. They are the number one team as far as points are concerned. And uh, I know that it's a happy crew here in Lincoln, Michigan today.